lot of people here, huh? Well, given the time of day and the whole situation in Poisson, Paimon doesn't think there'd be a ton of people. Right. That's how things are now. The living are so exhausted. Um, Navia? <sighs> Navia, what's wrong? Sorry. I... I just... Malus and Silver... They won't... What? Huh? What happened to them? Everyone agreed on the rescue plan, but still... I... They were helping evacuate the residents, but... And... Which... I've known them for so long. I could at least hold a funeral for my father. And I know where he rests. But as for Malus and Silver, they're just... Everything looks so clean after it rains. Even the gravestones. I didn't expect... I can understand. Besides, the scenery here isn't half bad. See? It's not just me. I always want to bring something when I visit Papa. Perhaps we might... Ah, how could Master ever be upset with you, Demo? Yet, the cemetery is the home of those who have passed, is it not? Everyone ends up here sooner or... Buying yourself a plot in advance, are you? <laughs> no need yet. But when I do, I hope you'll let me be buried beside Master Callus, Demoiselle. Hey! I'm quite serious. That way, it'll save us both. That makes sense. In that case, could I be buried... After all, besides you, Demoiselle, the two of us could... Personally, I believe... <laughs> Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? Seriously. Oh, Rapa, I'd really prefer not to talk about this stuff. And what do you mean by saving me a trip? I'd make the journey. I promise to let them rest in peace here. But... <sighs> I'm sorry for letting you see me in a mess like this. I... Paimon doesn't know how to help you feel better. But... I had always thought I could make my wishes come true. But now that Malus and Silver have helped me, I'm so sorry. You can spend as much time as you need here, Navia. <laughs> Thank you. Right now, you don't know how much that means. By the way, you can have a look at this. Obana, Khan, Burn. So, everyone. It's okay. I, I know what you're thinking. The overall outcome indicates that the cost... Right! Don't think that way, Navia. One person... Malus and Silver were not the price for saving... You're right. What you said just now was pretty amazing, actually. Oh! Seems you've become more eloquent in the time since we last met. Uh, the knave? Ah, is everything going well? Yes. My people are carrying out the mission according to your request. All the residents of Poisson, as for these supplies, we have everything taken care of. They're Thank you very much. Wait, do you two know each other? We just met recently. Hmm, usually, I would call this a coincidental encounter. But that doesn't quite fit this time. Besides, it never even crossed... Thanks to the knave, Spina di Rosula received generous support from the Fatu... Mutual aid is essential to fostering positive developments. We were already in the area, in any case, so it was nothing. That said, I must say that you're a lot sharper than you let on. I apologize for all the ways in which I tested you previously. We've never worked with the Fatui before, and it's my subordinates have reported that Fatui soldiers have been observing water levels and taking head counts in various locations. This is nothing to brag about, nor do I intend to. It is simply the way of powerful or- As I've told this traveler before, I know of the prophecy. Lending your organization a hand was a natural first step in accomplishing that. Without your help, there would have been many more ca- Furthermore, I sincerely regret what happened to Malus and Silver. Don't say that. You and your subordinate. As Paimon said, Malus and Silver didn't choose to sacrifice themselves for any specific- I've never liked hearing people put it that way. You're right. 
I'm sorry for your loss, Miss Navia. Water is life to Fontaine's people, and it also spells disaster. It's no wonder. So, you're one who will try to ch Of course. That is why I'm going to Hotel Bouffe de Terre. I still- By the way, Traveler, Paimon, one more thing. All right, then we'll just- that is a clever and useful conversation technique, which I do like to use when necessary. But there's no need today. It wouldn't- Traveler, I'm sure you remember that I said we could work together. You and I both know that there may be issues with the Primordial Sea. Previously, it was the- f Indeed. Allow me to share the latest intel I've received from the- During some recent investigations, a child claimed to have discovered some ruins near Poisson. Judging by the dating of the ruins, they may be related to the prophecy and the coming. My people initially came to prepare for ruin exploration. Unexpected. So that's why the Fatui were already- I wanted to take the children along, but unfortunately, Linny, Lynette, and Fremenay- Linny told me that outside of the house, which is why I want to give you this task. The House of the Hearths members see each other as family. But Linny, Lynette, and Fremenay said that they also see you as... I'm sure you already understand how earnest... Oh! That's so... The intel I just shared about the ruins could fetch a high price. Oh, but since the children consider you family... Got it! So all we gotta do is go to some ruins, right? Excuse me, but may I tag along? You wish to join, Miss Navia? But are you sure you're up to exploring some ruins? You... Well... I'm sad, yes. There's no point in being depressed while we Besides, I'm also doing this for- Since you put it that way, I have no- All right, the ruins are- Okay, the three of us will handle it. Are these the ruins the knave was- They seem to be pretty ain't- Let's go in and have- Just be careful. Oh. 
All right, amuse me. Right now, right here. This place has also been contaminated by primordial seawater. Yeah. And a lot of it, too. A Fontanian would most likely dissolve the moment they... Right! You can't go down if there's primordial seawater. It's too dangerous and it won't be any help... Uh, don't get by my wrong. We're not... No, you're right. I can't do... complicates things maybe the only in that case do you want to mm, uh, the water levels here are unstable and there's a chance i'll go together with you perhaps we'll find the exit just all right come with us for Wait, there's something wrong with this bridge! Demoiselle? Huh? Demoiselle, what are you doing here by yourself? Would you be standing here till dark if I had... Maybe she just wants some time to herself. Hmm? Oh. Yes, it would appear... So. Uh, that's quite possible. However... Oh. Right. Hmm. 
Oh, it must have slipped my mind when I... This is a familiar feel. Is something the matter, demoiselle? Oh, uh, no. I was just trying to recall what... Do you remember Mr. Giverny? He requested our help. We were headed to see... Ah, right. Oh, Miss Navia. Ah, Mr. Malus. And Mr. Silver, too. <laughs> uh, how have you been? I've been great. Think they were knocking at my door. Sometimes. F <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Miss Navia, these are some flower seeds that I prepared. Please take them. They're very... I don't know what we would have done. Ah, did you cult... Why, we can have as many pots as you'd like, demoiselle. Perfect. In that case, we'll swap out some of the decorative plans for... Very well. Wait. S excuse me, madam. If I'm not mistaken, you're... That's right. Uh, no, it's nothing. This is the first time we've ever met. I've heard this name before. And why are there so few people around here? We must mind the time, demoiselle. We still have important things to... Huh? Uh, we do? L well, now, do... Miss Navia, here you are! I've been looking for you. My trial? Yes, she's right, demoiselle. It's just about... Oh? Look, it's Navia! And her two attendants are with her! <sighs> Goodness, everyone's finally here. There sure are a lot of people here to see the trial. And they all seem to... Karina, Desiree, Joyville, Jolien, Essen. Why are... And as for the judge... Uh, huh? Please sit in the defendant's seat. Don't worry. All right. But... Typically, it wouldn't be allowed. Hey, what kind of place do they think this is? Come on. Do they have any idea... <sighs> Enough with the whispering! <sighs> My dear Miss Navia, have you not... As all here know, you are Master Callisus. After you took over the Spina, you treated all of us. Not only you, but your butler, your subordinates. <laughs> Wait a moment. Yes, correct. Absolutely right. And we are one big family, all of us who are from Poisson. Therefore, this fair and honorable court shall declare you guilty, and you shall stay... Huh? Uh, everything you have said is correct. Oh, well, if that... <gasps> How wonderful! <laughs> <laughs> I know all these people. Why are they laughing? <sighs> I seem to remember... Wait just a moment. This isn't right! Malus? What was that, Mr. Malus? Our conclusion is very clear and unanimous. Let the court judge her now. She's. Stay here, Navia! You're one of us! Demoiselle, don't admit guilt. This trial means to keep you. I wish to exercise my right to defend Our Lady. Mistress Ro she was born a free and independent. Her actions cannot serve as proof that she identifies herself as. Please do not mistake her actions as. Really? As an individual, you say? Don't forget, we are all Fontanians here. This, even if Miss Navia owned everything, is meshed. Now I speak for everyone. Our opinion is consistent. Navia should stay. We. And you would call this justice? Preposterous. Have you forgotten how much you all once... Do you mean to defy... If your justice is flawed, then why should we... As you said, we can also have our own justice. Silver and that. Ugh, my head... Demoiselle. Silver, it hurts. I remember now. Everything that seemed odd for Karina, Desiree, Joyville, Jolien, Essen... And Mr. Giverny and Mrs. Burnett, who we met earlier. Even Malus and Silver. I don't want to admit it, but... But they're all dead. Don't be afraid. And don't admit guilt. Absurd! Who are you to say that she cannot be judged? Don't let them escape! We shall... Mr. Malus and Mr. Silver, must you be so stubborn? How could the two of you possibly hope to stand against the Collective? 
Do not resist. This judgment is fair and just. Navia belongs to us. After all that happened, she should not be left alone in Poisson. What are you saying? No more excuses. She says we're jealous. Jealous? <laughs> How could she possibly be an independent? What's with these people? Who's jealous of her? She belongs to us. Miss Navia. Silence. Uh, that's... Uh, Monsieur Nervillette. Such commotion is prohibited in the court. The accusations you just presented are none. The court will adjourn for the rest of the day. In the... Our thanks. Please leave with me, Miss Navia. But... Go on now, demoiselle. This is your only chance. Loose. <laughs> My apologies. I couldn't resist making one little joke once I realized that... Loose. Silver. Quickly, you must come now. Goodbye. Farewell. Uh, no, wait! Just a second! Uh, Navia? <laughs> You're awake. Good. Uh, I must have been dreaming. Malus and Silver were still alive, and... Th it looks like you're all... Did all the sad feelings cause you to have a night... The ruins you were exploring suffered a cave-in. When I arrived, I, you were just about to be dissolved within. Hmm? I think I saw two Oceanids protecting you. It was only for a moment. Perhaps were it not for their intervention, I would not have been able... Wait! Did you say Oceanids? You mean like... Perhaps those two Oceanids were the people... <sighs> I always told them that they didn't have to... <sighs> Please come with me. Nevelette, are you okay? Hmm? Oh, I am quite all right. Why do you look so stiff? Oh, Paimon knows. You're the type who feels awkward. I merely thought that we should give Navi... Huh? Why didn't you just... Hmm. Ah, Sijuin. I hope all is well with her these days. No way, don't worry. She's doing... I see. Well, that is good. I have... Oh, and the Duke also... Thank you. I have... Yes, in fact. I had arranged to meet you in Poisson, but when I arrived, I disc Amid my astonishment, I ran into the nave. We had a chat. Yeah, we originally... <sighs> I'm sorry to have kept you all waiting like that. I'm feeling much better now. I guess we should get going again. Will you come with us, Monsieur Nervillette? Yes, if you wouldn't mind my company.
right now. Right here. Right here, emerge. This one's got your name on it. Good Lucky. Good <laughs> Looks like we've reached the end. This is the place. There should not be any other hidden spaces. The path sure had some twists and turns, but it turns out that this place isn't actually that big. Stone slates? It seems like they... Uh, perhaps we should just leave them be for now. In total, but only three stone slates. The slate that should be. The surrounding walls also show. There's something written below. Let Paimon see. Uh, reason dictates. 
that this nation be- It feels like someone left these slates and these words here for a purpose. That would fit the circumstances dictated by the prophecy, yes. Indeed. There's a person kneeling here. She seems so dedicated. And there's a whole bunch of other people behind her doing the same. And is that Lady Farina in the third image? Did the Hydro Archon fall into the water? And is that a ring of people around her? The fourth image. I know this one. This. The people will all be dissolved into the waters. And only the. Hmm. More information should be hidden in these slates, but I fear I cannot easily uncover it. Don't blame yourself, Monsieur Nervalet. Deciphering... Ooh, the timeline's getting the chills just looking... This says that it's the history of the future, right? Uh, I really... Still... I... Huh. Hmm. That's right! If the images are in chronological order, shouldn't the fourth... The waters drowning Fontaine come before the third? And yet the order is reversed here. If we go by timing, Lady Farina only emerges in the third image. That means that the person in the second image might... Egeria, then. I had never met her, but her appearance here... The previous Archon kneeling before the floating island in the skies, as if... Con Did she herself commit that sin? And also, I'm still wondering why these ancient stone slates are here at all. Judging from their contents... But who would have created these slates and left these... Hmm. It seems that any further clues will have to come from... In that case, there's no time to lose. There's nothing else to... Yeah, we better get somewhere safe for now. Let's split up here. I'm going to check on what's happening with the Spina. You know how it- You still have energy for- <sighs> Just head back to the Fluffs on- I'll depart as well. Thanks for your hard work today. Traveler, I will go talk to Farina tomorrow. I'm sure that you're concerned about this matter as well. If you have time, drop by my office. Are you really gonna talk to her about this directly? She has long been harboring secrets. All right, we'll leave it in your hands then. I will be carefully considering my words tonight. Traveler, Paimon, our safe house at the Fluvsandra is always... <sighs> All right. I'll be on my way then. Ah, we're finally back! Welcome back. We've got a special... Nobody just uses a scry glass. Still, we didn't expect to see you here. Uh, well, I have some business to attend to here, so I booked a hotel in the city. Why did you think I was from Fontaine, though? Is that because Magistus doesn't sound... Uh, yeah. Well, I used to have my own surname, which was, well, some other thing. Either way, the old hag told me when she took me as her disciple, there was nothing for it, really. She really is amazing at astrology, so I changed my name to... Uh, it isn't? Nope. Although it is used by us in place... Wow! Imagine including a boast in your name. I reckon so. 
In any case, I'd give my disciple a name like this as well, if uh, Astromancer Barbaloth. Whoa, that's a long one. My name means Mona the Great Astrologist. As for the old hag, hers is, in plain speech, thrice as great? That's so... I know, right? <sighs> that's just how she is. She used to call herself Magi- Talk about excessive. Magistus is thus the calling card of our school, so to speak, which makes- That sounds terrible! Ugh. But anyway, you're not Fontanian, are you, Mona? Well, I was born in Mondstadt, yes. My parents migrated to Dorman. Oh, that's a good thing then. At least we know you- Hmm, speaking of that, I'm sure you're aware that a bunch of- There's something ominous about it. Well, the water, I mean. That was the main reason, yes. Just a while back, the steam- The invitation was sent quite early on. What do you make of that prophecy, Mona? What I can tell you is that I'm an astrologist. And that this prophecy- I'm afraid that this is not something that just anyone can do. But on the flip side, the prophecy is so huge and powerful that it must surely- A visionary? Sounds really powerful Of course. The old hag could do it. And I bet there are others amongst those Hex and Zerkel colleagues of hers who could do s- Huh? That- Hmm... All right- Thanks, Mona! You're a- Oh, well... That's the greatest of astrologists for you! Indeed, indeed! Oh, sorry. I came to see what all the commotion was about. If there's any- Oh, whoops! <laughs> Guess we were getting a little too carried away there. Well, I'll go tend to my own business now. And there she goes, quick as rushing water. And here we are with the spike. But we were able to recruit Mona's help. Ah, good morning. To be honest, I'm still feeling kind of. <sighs> but it's time to get up, traveler. We. Ag Monsieur Nirvalet and Lady Farina, they, they seem to have... Like I said, I've already explained everything! And yet the problem has not been properly solved. It is not my intention to offend you, but please, tell me where you stand. Look at this. This is a li... <sighs> We did not arrive in time to avert this disaster, and I will not have it. <sighs> I will say this once more. You must tell me everything you know. Yesterday, I found three stone slates in some ancient ruins near Poisson. Seriously? You're questioning me like this is a court case now. I don't- but you found them in some- That's correct, which is why I came to ask you some questions. There should have been four slates, but one of them was missing. The other three featured- <laughs> The second of these slates depicts the previous Hydro Archon Egeria kneeling before a floating island in the sky. I don't! I've never seen such- I'll ask you again. Do you really have no information rego- My deciphering of the slates indicates that the Hydro Archon Egeria once had to confess to, or apologize for, a certain s- All gods don't have the same secrets, you know. She was herself and I'm me. Is it really so- I understand your concerns, but- I'm sorry. I- <sighs> Forgive me for saying this now, Lady Farina, but I have long known of your various secrets. There are several indications that you have been investigating the Prophet. This is not strange in itself, considering that you are the Hydro Archon. 
But it is strange that you should also claim to not know any of Egeria's secrets. You have never been as superficial as you have presented yourself to be. Nor are you a f- <laughs> oh, So you've been- <laughs> Well, since you know about my secret investigations, then you should know- There's no point questioning or suspecting me. You're the Eudix, but you're still my sub- Just trust in me. You're Archon, and do as I say. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. That's all I have to say. We do not dis- Oh! <laughs> the opera's about to start. <sighs> Did Farina not notice us standing by the door? Wonder what's up with her. I assume you've been outside for a while now? Oh! You noticed! She was in a great panic, though I cannot discern the reason. Our discussion reached impasse. Still, I do not understand. Dialogue is the basis for understanding, so... Everyone in her inner circle has noticed that she is hiding some secret. The issue is her attitude. I- We may have to create a situation- Oh? Normally, people will only reveal the truth when standing trial. But, Farina's seen so many trials, and she's really good at dodging questions! We will need to consider this thoroughly. Join forces- <sighs> If at all possible, I would prefer to recuse myself from this affair. This may be cruel to her, but all Fontaine is in crisis. The infam- Hmm... But who will lend us their- Well, that's everyone, huh? Speaking of which, it was pretty smart of you to think of hiding here. Poisson was just involved in a disaster, so it's presently devoid of people. That night. And here you are, drinking tea like it's the most- That's what family should do. Sit and- <laughs> It's nice to enjoy tea here, you know. Care for a cup? Ahem. <clears throat> Lend me your ears, everyone. Hmm. Or perhaps one of you might like to start us off. How about you, friend? Uh, me? I... Hmm. Uh, then, how about you, good s- I fear that I will cause the mood on this boat to become as somber. <laughs> Well then, I guess we're lucky we've got a local like me to organize things. Wonderful, this. That was a little long-winded, don't you think? Oh, <laughs> you might be right. Anyway, to cut to the chase, our... As for what that is, well, uh, let's start by saying that we'll be pooling our efforts... Oh? Well, <laughs> it's just an expression, really. One that I just learned... Huh? Didn't you? Oh, come now. Your work doesn't involve much public speaking, right? This is a good chance to prep. I see. Hmm. <laughs> he is glad that you consider him your. In that case, <clears throat> do any of you have experience hunting? Not that I recall. Fremenet and I once used a wooden stick in a basket to catch wild rabbits when we were young. Ah. Uh. I thought... Uh, I'm afraid not. You may or may... Though that was their name, they did not hunt animals. Today, Fontaine's monster population has... A trap comprises of the fall... So, if... We For me, I... Our line of work... You use some of those techniques while moving... Yes, and I even... I'm afraid I can't claim that as my... <laughs> and I can be... With discretion, I'm... Huh. Uh, I remember that you like... I did. What about you, Monsieur Nevillette? I... Fear I do not. Hmm. That makes sense. You, but I do have one more question. If we were to create a trap now, hmm. Hmm. kind. If we wanted to kill the prey in one strike, we would need a powerful implement. However, that also goes for prey that must be captured. Wait, why is that? Only a hunter who's a true expert at subduing their prey can snare it without harming it. Uh, so. Huh. We haven't thought of If our means of capturing and dealing with our prey is to put them on trial, but we shall require much more courage than- Oh, so
<sighs> it's been a tough few days as... <sighs> Paimon, Paimon thought they'd be at least a little frightened. Well, Fremenay was, now that Paimon thinks... Uh, it's hard to say. After all, you're the most reliable per... Uh, did you just pour... S uh, what's that? Paimon's never seen that couple... Don't be frightened. I'm just... <gasps> Ah. Wait, you are familiar. Hmm. The voice from the sky. Hmm. You're feeling lost now. J hmm. Consider me a passerby. The prophecy. Yes, what has been prophesized will be. What? The I believe you have witnessed a failed attempt with your own eyes. Ah. Just as prophecies are usually only the are the things that you shall see. Well, what is she talking? I believe that you understand, right? Ultimately, fate. Hmm. This was the voice. Well, I see I've walked in on some lively banter. Luna! Fine, just fine. I went to take... Not all Fontanians are pessimistic about this. One journalist... Uh, did she have pink hair by any chance? Why, yes! It was Charlotte. You remember her, right? That daredevil journalist. I'm in full support of her view. Prophecies... That's right! Paimon's... Ah, yes. About what we had just huh? Goodness gracious. Are you serious? She said that even the gods The Hexen Circle members are certainly anything but ordinary. But I've never met her. Whoa. The Hex Their abilities alone are Well, it's not like Paimon can Yes, she was quite perhaps it is something Traveler? Paimon Oh, we're fine. I see. I guess you could consider me someone who has often wit, but even so, perhaps that's what N was trying to tell you. I did originally think of- Huh. You do have a point. <laughs> there, it was worth trying to come. I suppose that might- Paimon feels kind of moved by what Mona said. Hey, traveler. Pa Let's walk around the city, shall we? There's a few spots we always like to walk by. Stronghold, the Fortress of Meripede, has contained my recent attempts to enter the fortress for little fruit. Thus, did an Alamander friend become the focus of this report? A blind adventurer with their... So while the fortress's interior remains a mystery behind... Clo Journalist Charlotte's biggest scoop yet! The trap... Huh. Charlotte took so many awesome books she hasn't been able to get a hold of anything... Ugh, seriously? Well... slice of cake, please. <sighs> Someone showed up after all. Oh, wait, you're the one from the Palais Mermonia. Oh, are you here to buy cake, too? <laughs> wait, did he really... That's right. Even he has his own preferences. Do you come here often? Mm -hmm. Usually every day. Every day? It's part of my daily schedule, apart from... Uh... Then what if someone told you one day that this place would be closing soon? But why would it close? Well... 
Hyman doesn't know either, but... Oh, the prophecy. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, I haven't paid much attention to that. No, no, it's the same for eating in... Huh. Don't be sad. Excuse me, could I have these two slices are for you? Sijuin said that this kind... Oh, you know Sijuin? I sure do. Mm -hmm. She was born before me, and she's... she said that humans are creatures that are sad and ease. I've got something else to do, so I'll be... And there she goes. All right, let's dig in. Paimon sh... It's more delicious than last time! And the... Sure would be nice if we could always eat delicious It's all right, though. I've set aside the amount intended for you. Really? <laughs> you're almost a little too easy to win over, Paimon. Oh, Paimon knows you're... Still, what brings you here all of a sudden? When Mona mentioned you, we thought... <laughs> I see. So, she mentioned me? She said that you're a real... <laughs> nice. In which case, can this... Huh? So your article and... Oh, of course it doesn't. That was more... Yeah, are we? Why not? If I... Oh, in that... Oh, so that's a yes... I'll tell the- Oh, so much to get done now. Wait, Charlotte, Paimon's still got a question for you. Hmm? And what's that? If... Just- Huh, that's the prophecy you're talking about, isn't it? If you're seriously asking, then I might try and think of a way to leave- From what I've seen, most people don't know what they do, so in all likelihood, I'd probably still be prepping at the office for that- Just think about it. If this nation really were to be suddenly destroyed, and then do you know what I'd do? Well, I'd write that story. I'm not a dreamer, nor... But anyway, that... That's... so nice. Anyway, let's go and take a look at the sea, shall we? The sea breeze and scenery can be a pretty soon... Um... Hyman's been thinking... If it wasn't Fontaine, but all of Tev... No, Paimon should ask... You've always been moving to the next test. You mean... Still traveling? Huh. the fortress of Meripede that Ah, oh, so the two of you are still here. Oh, you're from the Palais Mer Yes, I'm Isadora. Monsieur Ner <laughs> Not at all. I'm yes, inside the opera house. A riot? Well, that said, Lady Farina was watching a performance at the opera house. And while she was re loudly accusing her of doing nothing, and before she could respond, others started to... The crowd continued to grow and protest. So people have started to put the blame on Farina. I agree. People will not... So what happened after that is... Seeing that the situation was spiraling out of control, and the Marichose Phantom had their hands full maintaining order and did not catch relating... So... That's right. The Marichose has dispatched... That said, I don't think there's much good. Monsieur Nervi- Don't worry, this is more than enough- oh, is that so? Well, sounds like we should hurry over to Poisson then. If we know Farina, she won't try to- And, as we also know, she may be la- When Nervalet was talking to her in the Palais Merm- It would be hard for her to- Paimon thinks Farina's probably taken- Huh! 
Well, what do you... In that case, there's not a moment to... This place looks deserted. Guess all the survivors must have evacuated already. All that's left here are signs of devastation. Could Farina really be here? Let's try to find her as soon as possible. Ah, that's Farina, right off uh -huh. What was meant to happen did happen. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Give up, Farina. I'm sorry, but what can I even do? Other than to repeat... Uh, who, who's that? Don't worry, Farina. <laughs> <laughs> so, Farina, you were crying just now, weren't you? Uh, what do you mean, tear stains? Uh, who did that uncivilized rap? They even dare to tell their archon. I'm... Oh, and I'm sure Nouvellet and those people from the... I... Hey, there she is. The Hydro Archon's over there. Quick, after her! Uh, Farina, those people seem to be after you. Uh, they are? <laughs> They're just some rabbit fat. That's against the rules. Uh, Farina just ran off. Quick, we have to catch up. This should be the place, right? Hey, Farina! There's a good hiding spot over here! Quick! Uh, wh what? What is... Hurry, they're almost here! Fine, fine. I suppose haste is war... I nearly gave in to the sheer info. Uh, yep, that's a good. Uh, 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 what's happening? Uh, the ground shake. Yeah, a quake of this kind preceded the flooding in Poisson, didn't it? It can't be. Well, there's no need to worry too much about that. Nevelette's made some. Yeah, but the people of Poisson. It's true. I've been in I once had informants all over to VAT. Search I've tried all kinds of ways too to hold back, but all my efforts proved to be futile and we cannot make an enemy of the divine. No matter what we do, the will of the heavenly principles will have its way. And the prophet <laughs> give up. <sighs> I do indeed. I've thought about giving up so many to fate. Is really unreasonable, isn't it? It has no heart, but just now. It all became clear to me. As long as the final moment, don't worry. I... I... <sighs> well, that's enough for now. I got the impulse to play the stricken maiden. Don't take any of what I just said seriously. Come on, Paimon could Share. That's impossible. It was faded right from the start. A witness. <sighs> and if to that is in its in. <sighs> I.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes my open- Now, without further ado, we- Ah, so this is what it is. Do not forget, however, that I am Fosalor, the god of just- May I interpret these words as your refusal? In that case, you will have the opportunity to defend your honor through a duel. You- you would draw your blade against- <clears throat> I see. It seems like you have made up your mind. Paimon can't believe it. She. Hmm. What the heck is going on? Well, how utterly you. Lady Farina, what is. Uh, it would seem that there has been a misunderstanding. To be clear, the looking for excuses. I raise my hands just now to indicate my acceptance of the trial. I will admit that I'm sorry, everyone. I was un you are not the only ones to be dis. <sighs> but now, I, Farina, will use this trial to show the world the tr this time. Applaud and rejoice. One of the, mark my words, this shall be one of the most exhilarating and brilliant shows ever to grace the stage of Fontaine. Woohoo! Oh, now we're. <sighs> Why does it feel like Farina just took over the whole thing? Also, even though she's still acting super. All right, then. Who will. The court asks the prosecutor to please take the stand. Is that also? Please allow me just how much work. Well, we did do a lot of prep after the meeting that day. I can go over the tasks assigned to the Spina di Rosula. Navia, the president. Most of the people who participated in the disturbance this morning were my subor- They changed into plain clothes and came to the opera house as regular audience members. The people's resentment against their archon has been building as more and more- Moreover, according to our understanding and analysis of you, when something like that occurred, so we arranged for a- So you mean- And their goal was to force you to step into the giant magic box so you may- That's right. That house was a magic box, rather- As the super ultimate version of the setup that I used when- The volume of the box was increased by a whole order of magnitude, and the distance it traversed was the entire gap between Poisson and was an Archon. In My thanks, Farina. Without your- Uh- Of course, this performance was only made possible with Father's support. The House of the Hearth spent a massive amount of labor in Mora to p We had to select a location, construct a giant magic box, dig a tunnel- So, in other words, the earthquake that- That's right. It wasn't a sign of another disaster to come. <laughs> then, I can guess- You gathered a crowd, prepared a stage, and made sure that the- Also that as soon as I appeared on the stage, the trial may come- Yes, that is correct. Well, Clorand, I must commend you for you. As for you, Traveler, you'd make sure that I didn't notice anything amiss before revealing yourself as my prosecu- Oh? <laughs> it's fine. It the stage is already set, so there's no reason to disappoint the audience. Let's see this trial- Madam Prosecutor, please allow me to pass this along. This is a document that Miss Charlotte applied for and received permission. Huh? Charlotte wanted to give us something? Oh, so she's here too! Oh, let Paimon see! Uh, oh, wait. Then that means... So in other words, we can refer to this... And let's quickly confirm the information in it. Just think of it as a refresher, alright? You defeated the Hydro Archon in the very first duel you took part in at the Opera House. I didn't think that you'd wind up getting to the bo- This is the first time Monsieur Nervilette had a- A Fatui Harbinger. 
She's an extraordinary person. The fortress of Meripede... According to Monsieur Nouvellet, both child and that whale should have been in the primordial sea at that time. I nearly lost my awesome friend Navia. The words of someone as extraordinary as a witch can probably only be truly understood when something surreal happens. The prosecution and the defense are both in position. The trial shall now begin. <laughs> oh, come on! Just fast forward to the pop. Of course, it is only natural for- That's true, but my charge here is unrelated to your conduct as an Archon. Instead, I would like to charge you as a fraud who has never been the Archon in the first- Wait, what was that? Lady Farina's a fraud? Hey. I came here thinking that we were going- Charge accepted. Lady Farina. Uh, uh, Lady Farina. I plead not guilty. There is no way that I, Fosalor, otherwise known as Farina de Fontaine, a member of the Seven and the Regina of all waters, kindreds, peoples, and laws of Fontaine. Yeah, even though Lady- Yeah, I've- no I have cause to believe that common sense will prevail in this case. Many of the members of the audience have known me as the Hydro Archon ever see. <laughs> Even the Oratrice has decided. If you wish to drop the case, I can promise you. Huh. An argument with near impossible odds, huh? You have to not only refuse. Well, I tried to give you the chance. And if I was not the Archon. First of all, you may be a member of another long-lived race, which would allow you to naturally possess an extended lifespan. <laughs> Who gave you that idea? Was it the knave? You'd sink so low as to you- A curse. I once thought it possible that the aura of an Archon might naturally resemble a type of curse. But in light of this claim, perhaps what I sensed was not your divinity- Never it sensed it too, huh? Lady Farina- Well, it is true that it's extremely diff- Well, uh, don't start celebrating too early now. Besides, Everyone knows that the main difference between a human and a god is the possession. For centuries, manifestations of my authority. One need only to turn their eyes towards the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal in the. clear at the time the decisions of lady farina i believe a reminder of your while the court is in session the principles of justice and the law must come you will prove yourself unable to defend against the <laughs> i never th that was no trick of rhetoric lady farina <laughs> so you neither knew why child was declared guilty instead of having been created by you the manifestations of authority of the real hydro archon it is true that I did not know, but the Oratrice handed out that verdict. You can't... you can't argue that just be... <sighs> She's still throwing out all kinds of excuses. My power as an Archon. The if that poses a concern, I'm pre... Um, <laughs> you don't need to go that far. I... Aren't you the Hydro Archon? Or is it... Indemnidium, yes! It's all because of Indemnidium! All Archons derive their power. Thus did I give up all of my divine power to provide ev- <laughs> Isn't that- Yeah, no matter how generous an Archon can be, how- It seems like nobody's buying Farina's excuse. Hey, come now, everyone. I'm still the same Farina you knew, please. You- If what the prosecutor said is true, 
She Did she deceive all of us? Enough! That's enough! Tell me then, if I'm... If you have no evidence of another Hydro Arc... Wow, she came up with yet another... Ar It has been established that all Fontanians... Since you insist on claiming to be a god and not a human, then there's a method that you can use right... Miss Navia, please apply to serve as a temporary attorney for the prosecution before addressing the court. The... <sighs> Super sorry, Monsieur Chief Justice. Now, I've brought some seawater from Poisson. As everyone knows, including those of... So, Miss Farina, if we are to believe that you are indeed the real Hydro Archon, touching the seawater would have no... But if you don't dare to touch it, then we would have basically proved the reverse. Oh, and I must remind you that after the disaster at Poisson, nobody wants to see any more... I do hope you'll act prudently. And choose the simpler Navia from the Spina di Rasula. The Spina has governed Poisson for many years. If Lady Farina is indeed just a human, she's probably. <sighs> Lady Farina, this test has been unilaterally proposed by the prosecution. As it falls outside the. <sighs> Well, of course he had to tell her that. She's just staring at the water without... What's going on? Is she really... <sighs> Due to the inherent risk of the test, Lady for <clears throat> What? Hey! <sighs> I... I'm fine! Look! Look at me, everyone! Will you believe me now? I really am... Miss Siegwing? If you're present, Miss Siege... Siege, we don't be nervous. It'll just take... Mm -hmm. <laughs> that should be... Please announce the results of your... As everyone doubtlessly saw, Miss Farina was displaying symptoms of hype. She was experiencing the adverse effects of exposure to primordial seawater. The extent to which she was affected, it... Thank you, Miss Siegewing. Lady Farina. Oh, wait. What did she just say? I didn't get to... Well... Considering your tendency to run from your problems, we... However, after extensive discussion, we exchanged it for a sample that is not concentrated enough to dissolve an act... We don't want anyone else... Yeah! So out of regard for Farina's life, you secured a low concentration sample and asked... It's a great thing that the direct sample wasn't actually you. I... I can't believe... Listen to me! Listen to me, everyone! Please, don't think about it! How can... Also... Also... Please! Everyone! Anyone! Just listen to me! I swear! I really am your Arca! I don't think anything she says at this point will sway any- With all the things that have been said, Hyman doesn't think there's- I believe the time for arguments and presentation of evidence has come to an end. If there are no objections, we will move on to the final judgment. <sighs> I don't think anything she says at this point will sway any- She's too stacked against her now. In my capacity as Chief Justice, I shall now render judgment on Farina's misrepresentation of herself as the Archon of Fontaine. 
as a human who knowingly deceived her fellow citizens, Farina is... guilty. We shall now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cod... According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse... <laughs> well, what's wrong? What's the Oratrice's... No, the Oratrice also displays a guilt... Isn't that correct, then? However... The exact wording of the verdict is thus. The Hydro Archon, guilty to be punished via the death sentence. Oh, that's actually one of the available sentences? I've always thought that it was just a myth. The one and only time the death sentence has been handed out at the court, and it's been given to the very person we've worshipped as the god of justice? Farina's been sentenced to death by the Oratrice? This outcome is indeed quite strange. According to Fontaine's current definitions of ju- Is this sentence really appropriate for the crop? Yeah! Even Fache wasn't sentenced to death by the Oratrice! Indeed. Not only is Farina's sentence overly excessive, the very point of our trial today was also to- But now, the Oratrice seems to have deliberately invoked the title- Um... Excuse me, if I may interrupt. Is the trial still go- Fremenay! Oh, you finally made it! Mm-hmm. It Is that the first prophecy? Huh. So the knave privately arranged for Fremenay to try- I looked everywhere and finally found it at the bottom of the sea. But has the trial already concluded? Thank you for your hard work, Mr. Fremenay. Please allow me to review- hmm. Traveler, I believe that you have already seen the other existing slates. And we'd like you- Huh? So what do you see? What- I believe I have now made sense of the Hydro Archon's crime. It has to do with Fontaine's- huh? Just guilty of deceiving her people? Oh, wait, no. Uh, so when you say Hydro Archon, do you mean the real Hydro In truth, everything that you've encountered in Fontaine up until this- However, I'm uncertain as to how much sense they currently make to you. Okay, let's try to recall the contents of the other- Slate describes what you just said. It seems to show the previous Hydra Archon using her divine power, and th does that mean that Fontanians are transformed Oceanids? The second stone slate shows Celestia floating in the sky, and the Hydra Archon and her people worshipping it. This must be the point when the Hydra Archon and the Fontanians were branded with their original. The third slate shows the Hydra Archon sinking into the sea surrounded by. Huh. Paimon. Well, the first slate is the prophecy the Fontanians have been... They didn't believe that such a crazy disaster could happen. We know from the case of the serial disappearances of young women that Fontanians can be dissolved in primordial seawater. And the first stone slate tells us that long ago, the Hydro Archon used her power to turn Oceanids into humans. This might be the reason that Fontanian...
Perhaps what is about to take place has all happened before. The true sin of the Hydra Archon that Nervilet mentioned, and the original sin cast down on the people of Fontaine by Celestia, as recorded on the stone slates. Not as simple as falling into the sea. When Navia fell into the sea, her consciousness was subjected to judgment. The stone slates show the people gathered around the Hydro Archon in the sea. Prophecy from the stone slates found its way into society, but not many people believed it at first. The fortress of Meropede was nearly flooded with primordial seawater, which we know can cause Fontanians to dissolve. It seems increasingly likely that the prophecy may come true. If we hadn't dealt with it in time, things could have gone very badly. They'll dissolve into the primordial sea, but won't cease to exist. Their essence will flow in the seawater, converge, and take the form of an oceanid! The Hydro Archon was sentenced to death in court, shocking everyone present. Hmm. Perhaps this means that her sin... Navia fell into the water inside those ruins, and she nearly dissolved. She was... The eruption of the Primordial Sea at the Fortress of Meripede was the surest sign that the prophecy was about to come to pass no matter what! The Stone Slate's contents can all be verified by recent events. If Let's hear them. Incredible. We're... All Fontanians were originally created by the late previous Hydro Archon. The evidence for that can be found in how only Fontanians could dissolve in primordial seawater. And how all the... Oh, and according to Navia, when she was about to get dissolved, she also... Indeed. Yeah, and it follows from the content of the first slate that she probably angered Celestia by creating humans without prior permission. That could also explain why the Oratrice judged the Hydro Archon to be... The Hydro Archon's true... And yet, after many hundreds of years, the Hydro Archon's creations have turned around to try to judge the Archon within the Opera Epicles. Yeah! Isn't the image here just like when Navia fell? So wouldn't it be trying to show the image of the Hydro Archon also falling into the sea when... In the end... The people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro... Did Paimon get all that right? You've made some keen deductions. I must say, given how much you still don't know, it is... However, while you were able to decode all the information on the slates, when we were at the ruins, I tried to decipher the hidden information record... Now that the slate collection is complete, I shall make another attempt to decipher the narrative recorded within. I believe I should share this truth not only with you, but with all the people of Fontaine. Your hypotheses regarding the origin of Fontaine. In the Fontaine of old, the previous Hydro Archon sensed the yearning of her Oceanid familiars for life on land. The Oceanids were enamored with the beauty and romanticism of human beings, and wishing to have those experiences for themselves expressed to the Hydro. However, even though water as an element is intricately linked with the power of life, the Hydro Archon as one of the seven, not one to give in, 
She eventually found a way to create permanent humanoid bodies for her familiars by appropriating the power of this. She poured primordial seawater into the Oceanid's blood vessels. But if Fontanians were to ever come into direct contact with water from the primordial sea, the power within their bodies would escape these artificial restraints and ret- Of course, the Hydro Archon never received permission from the heavenly principles to create a new human race. And thus, the Hydro Archon and all of her creations came to shoulder the original sin of appropriating the power of the Primordial Sea. That is the true history- So you- That's way too much information for me. I think I'm just- Wait, but if that's the truth, we can't let the Hydro Archon be sentenced to death? This really might be too much information- Alas, your hypothesis regarding the third and fourth stone slates was inaccurate. The slate's respective positions are, in fact, correct. A key point of the visual on the third slate is how all the individuals depicted in the- They have not been dissolved. Which implies that the water depicted the nation of Fontaines, the nation of Hydro, as well as the nation of Trials and Justice. You may also recall Navia's experience. When she fell into the sea, therefore, the me- That the people of Fontaine shall try the Hydro Archon. At yes, it refer- I think I'm following now. So, what you're saying is, in truth, everything we've done has happened exactly- What should we do? Huh. No matter what, the p If that's the case, does that mean- Traveler, I would like to point out another small fallacy in you about the fourth slate. You probably thought that the eruption of primordial- However, I believe that rather than being a sure sign, that eru- As for the root cause of the catastrophe, I believe it- This eruption was just a small warning of the things to come. We must find- That doesn't sound- It was both dream- That could only be that thing inside the primordial sea, right? The truth, the original sin, the trial, and the root cause of the disaster. So we've met it at last. I understand very well why that whale does not belong to Tevat. It is a monster that has traversed the sea. It has been greedily consuming the energy from the planet's primordial sea, using it to grow. 
And once it has finished consuming all of the energy con- You said that when the Hydro Archon first created Fontanians out of O- Precisely. That whale finds the blood of Fontanians nigh imp- Therefore, when it left the Primordial Sea, it decided to make its next stop a packed opera house full- We just barely managed to push it back, right? In that case, won't it come back- That is correct. Indeed, it is more accurate to say that we should thank that Harbinger for buying us some time. From the way he looked, he must have been fighting the- That battle maniac! We've always known that- Anyway, now that we know that this whale is the actual cause of the disaster- It is too late. It had already absorbed too much of the Primordial Sea's energy before we could notice it. Even if the entirety of Tevat were to be destroyed, it could still sur- that's not something we've already done everything we can and we've come so far you can't just tell me that the last hurdle is some impossible foe that's just not fair indeed that's not how a grand performance should end i'll fight it to the end no matter what so the prophecy will be fulfilled no matter what huh The prophecy. Yes, what has been prophesized will be fulfilled. You may view such things as the history of the future. Just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the perspectives of the gods, could things be happening in hidden corners where the gods' gaze does not fall?
ultimately, fate shall serve as your only... I believe it is preparing to carry out the death sentence. <laughs> Sorry, that shocked expression on your face is just too amusing. You are not Farina. Who are you? Ah, the sweet sound of bewilderment. Marvelous. A sure sign that my attempt to deceive everyone was a resounding... Fusolo, why did you deceive us? Oh, that wasn't my goal, of course. Goodness, no. But I had to fool every- the heavenly principles. Deceiving the heavenly principles? It's all because of that pernicious prophecy. Dreadful, wasn't it? Everyone doomed to dissolve. Fontaine condemned- One was not amused. In fact, one was positively bemused when that problem was thrust upon me by my dearest predecessor. That's the former Hydro Archon Egeria for the uninitiated. She knew full well that the prophecy would surely come to pass. And as one of the seven, she also knew full well that one defies the heavenly principle. So yes, as you have no doubt surmised, it was a rather impossible situation that I felt. I spent a terribly long time mulling it over, alone on the ocean floor. And I was almost growing barnacles by the time I, I had to outwit the heavenly principles. Allow the prophecy to be fulfilled. Ostensibly, at least. <laughs> I'm a genius, I know. I can only assume that's why Egeria ch Although, looking back now, it was hardly the inheritance one dreams of. Between the task of saving the nation... <sighs> But one can only play the hand one is dealt. I did not choose this. Any more than I chose to be- So you were also once one of the Oceanids? Tra yes, I was. I always dreamed of becoming human. And I still do, even now. After becoming a god, I separated my divinity from my body and spirit. Leaving behind only a self that was as naive and bewildered as my past. The me you see before you now is that divinity. And the human counterpart I left behind. She could feel joy, sorrow, and everything in between. She could be as vain and conceit. Her strengths were of a kind only a human could possess. Uh, but in my eyes... Farina's humanity was what made her perfect. She was perfectly human. Anyway, so then I cursed her. All part of the plan, of course. The plan to deceive. <sighs> Do you still remember the final scene of the prophecy? In order that the prophecy might appear fulfilled, I invited Farina to be an actress under the curse I placed on her. So long as I, Fosalor's divinity, continued to exist she could not die but nor was she instead 
She was forced to take the stage in the opera house, to embrace the role of leading lady. I suppose now you probably understand why your court is called the opera- But Farina is only human. Even though she has had a long life, her mind is no stronger than that of any other. I cannot begin to fathom what she has- It has indeed. And although she is, in a sense, me in human form, it's been five hundred and all along. She's been playing her part in the most unimaginably long, unbearably lonely. you to come onto this all right all right it is not my intent to reprimand you there is no need <laughs> i am fosalor the eyes of countless fontaine Dear audience, the performance is experiencing a technical difficulty, but worry not. The guards shall resolve it soon enough. Farina. Huh? Who's that? Who's calling me? Where are you? Be not nervous. Be not afraid. Wait a moment. You're... Mirror me? How... Hmm. <laughs> mirror me. The prophecy. What prophecy? The people will all be dissolved. Oh. <laughs> What's... Oh. Yeah. But do <laughs> I will tell you how to Oh, oh. so as for the suffering, but if the prophecy will if there were scales with all the people of Fontaine <laughs> I suppose this would also be huh? Don't worry, it's nothing. Listen well. Fon play as that's right. You must- If you can keep it up, then I shall have my way of defying this prophecy. But... 
How will I do? Don't worry. What you must do, being a human yourself, I'm sure you all remember. Your true challenge will not be per- Um, I'm st- So, how long- To accomplish this mission, but I promise- A trial. What should I say? Ahem! I'm sure you've all heard about how- In truth, I know little as the god Fosalor, the god of justice. Once again, th this, I thought I might- That's the new Hydro Archon. Is this some kind of joke by the Maison? I would have thought that a being that surpasses human- <gasps> Hey, did you hear that? She even told us to send her suggestions there. Shouldn't gods be all powerful? She's being so modest. If you ask me, perhaps the succession didn't actually happen. She might just be a... Wait, what's going on? Right. Mirmis, calm down, Farina. Assertive, with a strong... <laughs> now, I was wondering if some weak... <laughs> well, it's... You may consider my previous act a... Don't know then. Ah. Uh. So that was just a performance. How could I have forgotten that we were inside? Your personality. It's quite shocking, to be honest. I suppose it's a better look than before. Such a fascinating and bold deity. How wonderful. Our future may yet be bright after all. It seems I've turned them around. My dear people, whether you acknowledge me or not, whether you trust me or nay, I say to you, Keep faith! We have heard it said that this- No, this won't work. They'll suspect me again. I must play the role that they want me to- The scales of ju- May law be the prayer on our lips. May judgment be our worship. Let us- There is no- So long as I- yeah! <laughs> Lady Farina, he are today's king. <sighs> Come besides. Um, if I... A magnet. That's true, I... No need for fright. And do not take what I said before too seriously. <laughs> Go now. Lady Farina, uh... No need to... <laughs> All right. Oh, he's... <laughs> uh, Lady Farina. I see. It's as I thought then. All manner of sun. Uh... Really? I'm... <clears throat> the day is finally a but it's good to see maybe this is fine. Lady Farina, here. Uh, there'll be no. Lady Farina. Indeed, 
my dear. Lady Farina, we're detecting significant hydro. Understood. <sighs> I just. I feel utter. Lady Farina, it's... I've heard that the first man... <laughs> hmm? oh. uh, are you crying? Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this must be the overflow of Hydro from my person. <laughs> well, can't quite help being the god. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> so... Hundreds of years must have passed by now. I never imagined, have I? I want to tell Sky and conduct. All I can do is keep heart. Farina. You don't, although I don't know what you... Share. That's impossible. But even if your burden does just share a witness. And if to that... <sighs> She's right. I could confide in that if things don't play out as expected. No, Farina. You sh... <gasps> but what if... Farina... Is it such if you let this think about it long and hard? Uh, <sighs> no, I have nothing to say. All you need to do, dear spectator, is to witness my per. So even Farina doesn't know the truth? You yes, it had to be done. To deceive the... She did very well. If she had let her resolve falter even once in these five centuries, it seems that... Trusting humanity. I believe that I understand how your deception... How would you build on this foundation to... Ah, good, good. Of course, the Udex of Fontaine has pinpointed... I'm sure you've long sensed that the or... I've always suspected that it had its own consciousness. And Linny did mention that he heard a human... It now seems that that person was you. And then I became one with the Oratrice, taking Fontaine's gnosis with me. Yes... It would seem... Alas, your understanding of this... In truth, it is no enactor of justice. It is, in fact... <sighs> oh, you have it. And to be more precise, not only will the Oratrice take down the god of justice... <laughs> I mean, did you think I would be the sort... My work over these last 500 years has been... But really... Some have already discovered that only a small fraction of the energy generated by the divide, the vast majority has been, had to be. A it was all a part of your plan. Indeed. This power, accrued over five centuries, could have sustained Fontanians for millennia. But only power of this magnitude could hope to destroy the Hydro Archon's divine throne. Shaking. So the Oratrice's call for death was for neither Farina nor Fosalor. 
The destruction of that divine throne. If I do not misunderstand... Returning what's rightfully yours to you, of course. In other words, this was all done to return the authority of the Hydro Archon to the Hydro Dragon of this planet. <sighs> but... No, oh, what? The authority of the ancient dragons shall soon be yours once more, O oh, Hydra. All you've done throughout the years is just so you can sacrifice. I've never quite seen it that way, you know. Even now, I'm quite pl- <gasps> Hydro Dragon. I must say, had it been within my rights, I would have loved to judge the heavenly principles themselves. Were they not- Egeria stole the power of the primordial sea. And the heavenly principle stole the power, you ancient dragon. I, for my part, am the god of justice. And is- Speaking of justice, I have always believed that justice lies. So, if the theft of the primordial sea's might was Fontaine's original- Then, leaving matters of procedural right and wrong aside, the descent of the Fontanians, in other words, existence was Egeria's justice. Defying the prophecy and ensuring that Fontaine's people at this point, we, whether Udex Nervilet, the highest judge in our land. So when I was invited to the court of Fontaine to serve as Udex, at, at last, in the beginning, I was uninterested in human existence. But these five centuries of living along, you are a deep things being as they are. Surely you know that I could never declare them to be. Ah, <sighs> the hour of my execution is almost here. For the sinner, the curtain call has come. I know I may not sound it, but faced with death, I find myself a little afraid. Perhaps this is one thing both gods and humans have in common. <laughs> Farewell, Nervalette. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. Udex Nuvelet, hereby declare, people of Fontaine, your sins are forgiven.
What just happened? Was that bright light some sort of misdirection? <sighs> but since we're all... It's time to end this. We must... Wait! Didn't you say... I have gained the strength sufficient to deal with it. Through certain means, we should seize the opportunity to pursue our quarry. Traveler, now that the oratories can no longer function, I require an execute the root of the calamities befalling Fontaine. Come with me, Traveler. The hour of... from within. I shall share a part of the ancient dragon's power. We shall look for an opening together. Can feel its sorrow turning into hostility. Trigger its hostility. Chance will present itself. Thanks for helping with the cleanup. It should have been my job, but it was just supposed to be a short private training session for me. I didn't think that my disciple and my master's pet would start brawling in the meantime. Well, actually, I had a feeling that it would happen at some point, but they bumped into one another earlier than I thought. What a blunder. That power. Who are you? Uh, Hyman has an idea. From what she said earlier, she must be child. It's just that he impression that she was the less I simply did not have anything to say to the weak but you on the other hand so you may speak to me as equals I have to agree it's a strange use of a planet's primordial water that kind of power is wasted on it it's not cooperative it eats too much 
And I have more important things to do with my time than pet. All in all, it failed. I... Uh, Miss Skirk? The point be... Well, being that this pet almost destroyed... So what sort of person is your master? Well, child's master's... Oh, right. So you don't know him. His name is Sir Tologi. Huh? I am unfamiliar with that... Huh. So master is insufficiently famous. Hmm. How sh... The foul? Still nothing. Well, how about the visionary? Vetterful near then? Or... Ooh! That one we've heard! Frank Doctor's part of the Hexen Circle. She's Albedo's mom, right? Oh. So you do know that name. To be honest, I also heard all of those names and titles. But I suppose you understand now, yes? My master is likely a similar sort to Rhyndaughter. They are both pursuing... Wait! Didn't you also mention a visionary person? Actually, never mind that. I believe that the all-devouring Narwhal used up nearly all its strength fighting you. Such roiling hydro energies will prove difficult for the planet's deep seas to digest. As such, the Fontaine back on the surface has most likely been thrown into chaos. In other words, the prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full... What?! Not to worry. Fosalor has... In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only Farina will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Initiate emergency rescue! She was wrong!
Sula talks, old soil can still give birth to new bloom Miss Skyship Winglet, Booner Brain of the Fontaine Research Institute. The various disputes that have arisen on account of Mr. Edwin, people always call the first researcher mad, but few know what to call the second. Wow! Paimon barely recognizes the people in the reports. What do you think? Pretty enthralling, huh? The Steambird's idea was pretty simple. The value for these big scoops lies in their inevitable follow-up. Edwin's assistant, Jurier, created a true... Paimon's curious, too! And that's exactly why I'd like you to come conduct interviews with... Uh, are you sure? Oh, this time will be different. Oh, it's you. Hey, we're just having a look. I'm here to update myself. Ah, uh, uh, let me introduce you. This is Mr. Garunt. Our residents are hard. Hello, Miss Charlotte. I'm a big fan of yours. But if you don't mind, could you not? I get where you're coming from. I'll keep it. That would be fine. Oh, you're back too. How are things? We finished laying down the construction materials. Huh? Well, her reputation's greatly risen after that whole duel this- There's too much to consider in the reconstruction of Poisson. The spe- oh, Wait, just a moment. Do you mind me asking a few questions? Uh, forget it. I'm- oh, I see, you're the same as always. Well, if we're talking about doing things for my sake, you- Of course I will. I'm not gonna let her off that easy. All right, then everyone who wants to- Not bad. Your addition really helped the composition of the picture. All right, hang on a moment. Let me snap a few more shots. All right, that should do it. I'll be back here later anyway, so uh, let's call it a day. <laughs> You're very quick. Speed is of the essence when it comes to... Also, not to brag, but I'm pretty good at building connections. Wow, you really... <laughs> I'll hazard a guess that this is how you got that interview. Whoa, you're well informed. That's a very... In truth, all Monsieur Neve... I told him that it was best not to speak. You're right. I've got... Uh, stay safe now. And tell me...